Today we're going to be taking a peek inside of my closet and I'm going to share what I've been sewing recently as well as the pieces that I've pulled out of storage that I'm going to be wearing again this summer now that the weather's gotten warmer. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine and I'm the founder of Sewing and the City where I sell my fashion sewing patterns as well as online courses all about sewing. So today I'm really excited to um, do a little bit of an update and show you the things I've been sewing in the last month as well as a few specific pieces that I really love that I decided to bring out from my storage um, that I really am excited to wear again um, now that the weather has been changing. So one of my favorite things that I've made just in the last month is actually what I'm wearing. And I've been wearing this outfit so much in the last few weeks. Um, so the t-shirt is just my Rivington t-shirt pattern, but what I did was I added the little buttons at the shoulder. Um, so really all I did was just extended the seam allowance and then, um, so I, I think I added maybe, you know, another maybe five eighths of an inch to the seam allowance and then um, folded it or pressed it all forward. So the seam allowance is all pressed forward and then top stitched it down. And that kind of gave me this like, almost like a placket look for the buttons to sit on and gave the buttons just a little bit, um, a little bit more like stability on the shoulders. It's just a basic t-shirt, which I love wearing day to day, um, but it feels a little bit more fancy with the buttons. Um, and this was also a good reminder to look at buttons. Like I think, Shopping for fabric online, I like often forget to think about buttons. So this was kind of a good exercise in using buttons for, you know, in a decorative type of way. Um, and the second part of this outfit is my new skirt. I don't know, we're probably not gonna be able to see too much of it. Um, but this is a new pattern I've been working on and um, I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I've been wearing it. Um, in various, uh, with various t-shirts, uh, really. It's kind of been become kind of my day-to-day -day outfit is just a t-shirt and my skirt. So this pattern uh, I've been working on and it'll probably be ready in the next couple of weeks. So this hands down is my most worn outfit of the last month or so. And definitely it's carried me through the weather change as you know the weather's been getting warmer. So the next outfit I wanna show you, I actually just made these yesterday. These are my Thompson, um, my Thompson pant pattern. And this is a polyester silky that I actually got at my local fabric store. And I bought it because I just loved the print. I love the colors. I love, just kind of love the abstractness of this print. They feel so, so, so good to wear. Um, this fabric is really, really soft. Although I, it was, it was kind of a, it was a little bit of a, of a struggle uh, to sew with. It's super, super slippery. Um, but overall, I think it was worth it for um, the pants. I really love these. So I've actually been playing with styling these pants back to all kinds of different things, like even a stripe. Um, but what I actually made to go with it is uh, my, I took, uh, this is my Bond dress and I just hacked it into a top. I basically just made it short and that's what I plan to wear with the pants. I love this outfit. I think it's really, really summery um, and can go really day to night. So that's another outfit that I really, really love. And I also feel like these pieces can all totally mix and match. So I could do this white with my skirt. I can do the pants with my stripe. Um, I can also do the pants with this little puff sleeve top I did. So this is another Rivington t-shirt but I did the puff sleeve hack on. Um, and I have a video, which I'll put in one of the corners, um, where I walk through the puff sleeve hack, it's really easy to do. And so this little top could also go back to any of these, um, these bottoms that I've been making. The other thing that I've recently made is a new pair of my Sutton undies. 
So these are obviously a scrap of this fabric. So this is actually a viscose jersey that I got from Minerva. Um, I'll link to it below. It's really, um, really a great fabric. It's so super fine um, and really good quality. Obviously you can't even see through, you can't see any of my bra or anything. I had a little bit left over, so I made a pair of my Sutton undies. I did a little um, kind of blush colored bow there and I used this lightweight fold over elastic also from Minerva. It's so super fine so it doesn't add any really hardly any weight. So I did make a matching pair of underwear um, from the scraps that I'm really really happy with. I also made this sweatshirt. So this was a sweatshirt fabric that I actually had in my stash uh, I didn't have ribbing to match um, and I couldn't find any ribbing to match. So what I did was I just, I tried to use the bias of the fabric for the neckline and the cuffs. I've never done this before and now I realize why we probably don't want to do it because my neck band, I don't know. Yeah, you can see, see how it's rolling. It's like, because it's cut on the bias and I have pressed this like beyond. Um, and I, I didn't actually even surge the neckline because I was like, went to the stage with this top where I was like, this is going to go in the scrap bin because I really thought the neckline was a goner. Then I came back to it a couple days later and decided that I could probably salvage it and I could probably press it enough um, so I did and it's, so yeah, it's not the end of the world. Um, I also did the bias on my cuffs. Again, it's just, it's not sitting. It doesn't on the bias. It just doesn't, um, doesn't really work. So not my most proud work, but this idea of the ruffle at the, um, at the top of the sleeve, I really love. And it's a concept that I want to explore further in another make. I think um, what I'd love to do is try making these actual ruffles. So with gathers, um, this sleeve is actually my Essex dress. It's the same. I just took the little flounce from the Essex dress and added it to my sweatshirt. So this is the Bowery sweatshirt and with the Essex little um, you know, shoulder detail. So this is something, I mean, this is fine for me to wear now. Um, and I, I'm gonna keep developing this shoulder thing because I, I do love it as a style. So I think that is everything new that I've made uh, in the last month or so. But there's a couple other pieces that I've pulled back out of my closet now that the weather's changed and also that I'm thinking about packing to Poland. Um, so the first one is my green Hudson blouse. So this is also one of my patterns. It's called the Hudson top and I tie this in a nice bow at the neck. So this is something that is probably gonna to come to Poland with me only because I just love, love, love the bright color. Um, I think that it makes a statement. Of course, my Essex dress, I think that I'm gonna bring this one in this um, beautiful print that I did. I love the neckline of this one. I had a scrap of this pink, so I did the bias tape in that. Um, so that's kind of a special detail that only I can see. Um, and it does have pockets, so it's really, um, I think will be nice to travel with. So that's my Essex dress, definitely gonna be good for summer as well. Um, the other dress that I pulled out that I've been wearing a ton already is my Mercer, it's Mercer dress. So the Mercer pattern is actually a top, but I made it into a dress for this and I have a blog post about it. I'll drop it below if you're interested. Um, but basically I just took the Mercer top, made it into a dress and this is my, I did a shibori technique with bleach. So this is actually a denim, a lightweight denim that I did this shibori and I did the neon, um, you know, just like the neon trim to make it kind of, uh, kind of cool. And so I, I also have a blog post of how I did this, uh, this dye technique. I'll drop the link below in case you want to check it out. 
Um, I even did like the border. So I made this last year and yeah, it's definitely, this is a tried and true. This one's gonna be with me for as long as possible until it falls apart. So really easy breezy, super lightweight. I love wearing this on the hot days, um, spring, summer, hot days. Okay, and the other one that's probably coming with me on my trip to Poland is my Ludlow romper. So this is a beautiful rayon. Um, I just loved the, you know, kind of like the ditzy print it's called, um, did black snaps. So the thing with this pattern is the snaps take forever to sew on, um, but you don't have to do buttons. So it has this like nice placket down the front. Um, and so I'm definitely going to bring, be bringing this one to Poland. It also has pockets. Um, which is great for travel. So yeah, the Ludlow romper also with just a bit of the upper arm coverage that I love. Um, so this is definitely coming out, uh, coming with me on my trip and definitely going to be a mainstay for the uh, spring summer. Okay, the other one that's coming out for spring and summer is my Ludlow top. So this is the Ludlow romper hacked into just a little top. Um, this also looks so good back to my new pants. It's really crisp and clean um, and really just over so many different things. I love this little topper. So um, I brought this out and I'm definitely going to be wearing this. Um, I just, I love it as like a little topper. So this and then the last thing that's definitely coming with me to Poland, I'll probably wear it on the plane, is my uh, little quilted jacket that I made. It has the little, um, the kisses and the neon trim, and then the chambray inside that I love. This is a new pattern that is coming out at some point. So that pretty much sums up what I've been sewing recently and what I've kind of pulling out from last year's makes to wear again this summer and what I'm thinking about bringing with me on my trip to Poland. Um, other things that I'm making, well, I'm definitely um, going to be doing more samples of the skirt. This is the Aster skirt. Um, so I'm gonna be sewing this upcoming. And I also have some, uh, some sweatshirt fabric coming from Minerva that I'm thinking about maybe doing a ruffled sweatshirt out of. Uh, and then what else do I have? I have another, Oh, I have a navy fabric coming from Minerva as well that I'm going to make a dress out of. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. I hope that you are doing really well. I hope you enjoyed um, kind of seeing a little peek into my summer wardrobe and what I've been making. And if you're not already on my newsletter, be sure to, um, to jump on. I send a, a weekly email. Um, with all kinds of different tips and tricks and videos and new patterns and, and all, the, all the news. So I'll put the link to that below as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.